Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motion Ray, and today you're going to learn how to create freeze frames inside Final Cut Pro. Not to be confused with a frame hold, a freeze frame is an extracted frame from your video, meaning that the rest of your video isn't impacted by the addition of a freeze frame, other than being rippled down the timeline that is. Adding a freeze frame can be used to pause a video on a specific frame for the addition of a title or other text. Whatever effect you're wanting to create with the use of a freeze frame, it's super easy to achieve. So let's start with zooming in and scrubbing along your timeline until you get to the point you'd like to add a freeze frame. In this clip, let's create a freeze frame right as the subject starts to flip the board for the kickflip. So move your playhead to the point of the clip where you want to freeze and go up to the header menu. Hit edit, add freeze frame. You can also do this with a keyboard shortcut by hitting option F. You see our clip has been split into three sections, with our freeze frame in the middle. Now you know how to add a freeze frame, but what about adjusting the length of it? You can change the default setting for how long you'd like a freeze frame to be by going to Final Cut Pro, Preferences, Editing, and changing the value of the still image duration. However, if you'd like to maintain a default length, but change the length of a single freeze frame on the timeline, you can do this in two ways. By selecting your clip and double clicking the timecode just above the timeline, you can enter the number of seconds or frames you prefer and just hit enter to complete. Equally, you can hover over the in and out points of the freeze frame and pull to increase or decrease to your desired length. So now how about some creative ways to use freeze frames? You can use a freeze frame to make a specific part of your video stand out which is especially useful when adding text with your freeze frame to introduce a subject. In this case, we're going to introduce the subject with a lower third text title and use the freeze frame as a means of ensuring the viewer sees the title. Let's take a look at the effect in motion. But remember, it's important to ensure the freeze frame isn't too long, else you may find the viewer gets bored or even think the video has glitched out on them. So guys, that's it from me. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create freeze frames inside Final Cut Pro helpful. So those are some of our favorite built-in effects for Final Cut Pro. But if you're looking for even more cool effects to use in your videos, here at Motion Array, we've got tons of templates, titles, and more cool effects ready for you to download and add into your projects. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.